welcome to Let's Save Morrowind, part uh, 9, I believe. And, uh, commenting with me today is music. That's right, folks. Uh, free music, in fact. Uh, I believe they're called Extra Military or something. It's a, it's a bunch of Africans and the drummer from Helva or Hella or whatever the fuck uh, making music together. <laughs> and uh, it's free, and it's, uh, you know, they just have the download for their al entire album on their site. So I figured I wouldn't get in trouble for the WM with the WMG. Anyway. Let's go ahead and die. No, not die. Um, well, we need to go sell all this really expensive shit. And I'm not quite sure where to sell it. Now, the staff has a weight of 16, which is pretty heavy. The ring only has a weight of 0.2. Not too heavy. It's worth quite a bit, so I might hold on to the ring and wait for the best deal possible. Um, you know what? Why don't you take me to Vivek? The ebony staff, on the other hand, is worth a lot. But uh, it's pretty heavy, so I'm just going to sell it. Um, in Belmora seems like a good place. It might be a better place. Probably just sell it, sell it with, to uh, Meldor. Might as well go do that right now. And uh, there's other reasons we need to stop in Belmora as well, so it doesn't seem like a bad idea to, to me. Let's go do that. Now, uh, I haven't actually listened to this music, so except for one song. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna be jamming a little bit. Um, let's see. Meldor. Meldor. Hey, Meldor. Do you remember that time when you sold me some armor? And you said, and I believe this is verbatim, you said, actually I don't know what he said, but uh, that's a reference. Kudos for those who get it. Let's see. He has 1500 gold. That's uh, quite a bit. He also has adamantium, which uh, maybe we can get some adamantium from him, which would be helpful, very helpful. Um, let's look at his apparel. you have anything magical? No, you don't. Um, adamantium boots, folks. We can do it. It is possible to get some adamantium boots. Uh, no, it's not. Never mind. It is possible to get some pauldrons, though. Um, yeah, let's, let's get some pauldrons. And, uh, make some money while we're at it. And I suppose it'll ruin the look of our awesome, awesome outfit here, but it'll be worth it. Let's go ahead and sell our old pauldrons. Yeah, I know. I know, folks. You're so sad. Or is that just me? Anyway. Let's take a look at our uh, mismatching armor. It actually, that doesn't look too, too bad. It's, uh, it doesn't have that giant, we're wearing a mountain on our shoulders look of, uh, World of Warcraft. <laughs> you guys get what I'm talking about. Because their pauldrons in that game are redonkulous. I can't even say the word properly. This helmet is redonkulous, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> but I really like it, it looked cool as fuck. And there's, like, a foot sticking out behind us, like, of helmet, of bone. It's crazy. Anyway, what are you looking at? What are you looking at, punk? Uh, an adamantium is very good medium armor. And, um, when we start doing enchanting on our own stuff, these pauldrons are going to be something we can enchant. Um, although they don't have very many, very much capacity. 
Let's let's um let's make some potions if we can. A hey, telekinesis, and we make it. Uh, we still have to sell that Daedric heart. Yeah. Okay, let's just sell the rest of this. Um, there's a pawn shop. Or at the pawn shop. We've already visited here. I don't have to explain it. There's a dead fly in my water. That's nice. That's lovely. Um, let's see. Well, let's keep keep our healing potions. Keep our levitate potions. Sell these extra bits of junk. Um, we're gonna learn the soul trap spell, so we don't need the scroll anymore. Um, why are we learning the spell? Well, we got Azura's Star, which is an infinite soul gem that uh, has is rechargeable. It's it doesn't it does not have a one-time use. It's infinite use. Uh, keep our scroll of healing. Keep our unlock scroll. Keep our invisibility scroll, just in case. Um, yeah, let's sell this crap. And uh, apparatus. She owns a journeyman's retort. Actually, uh, let's go join the Mages Guild. That'll be useful. There's uh, quite a number of reasons to join the Mages Guild. Most importantly, cheap services, cheap uh, potions, and, you know, just good deals in general when you join a guild. I would like to join. Thank you. We are now a uh, initiate into the Mages Guild. Let's take all this stuff in the supply chest. And yeah. Now, if you just join the guild, you really don't get that big of a discount, maybe a 1% discount. But uh, it does allow you to use more services and uh, take stuff from the chest. So, over here uh, is the Mage's Guild Apothecary. Let's look at what kind of apparatus she has to sell us. She has a Master's mort uh, Mortar and Pestle, which is the second best kind. It's actually very, very nice to have. Um, there's Journeyman's uh, Alembic and Retort, and there's an Apprentice Calcinator. Calcinator! There. It's, you know. These aren't words I say on an everyday basis, so excuse me for taking a moment to just pronounce them properly, if I, you know, or try to. Anyway, uh, the Calcinator has a weight of 25 pounds. It's extremely heavy. Uh, I do not recommend carrying it. <laughs> that song intro is crazy. Um, anyway. Let's go to buy the Retort and Alembic. Um, actually, the Alembic reduces the negative effects of a potion, but there's no there's, there's no reason to do that unless you're making spoiled potions. Actually, no, there is a reason to do that because some alchemical ingredients have positive and negative effects. Um, let's try to get it for 280, 282. Oh, that works. Awesome. Um, you don't sell any weapons. What kind of potions do you sell? Let's see. Nothing. There's Levitate Potion. That's nice. You might take that some other day. Restore health. Hmm. Nothing. And nothing amazing. I really want this Master's Mortar and Pestle, but um, I'll be happy with what I have, the apparatus that we have. Uh, we're going to go need to sell some extra stuff. 
and you need to give me the soul trap spell. Thank you for teaching me that. And this guy over here trains us in mysticism, or can train us, which uh, we're going to get up to a 20. Trained five times total, at least right now. And uh, this will raise our chance to cast soul trap by up to 60%, <coughs> which is respectable. Uh, it has a cost of 6, which is not the best, but, uh, you know, not bad. Um, what else do we need to learn? Okay, that's about it. Uh, we could train in enchanting, which is gonna be kind of expensive. But, um, anyway, she doesn't teach it. Someone here teaches it. Um, she also has soul gems for sale, and uh, some pre-filled soul gems, but they're quite expensive. So, let's go ahead and leave. I made a skill. Um, what else are we going to join? We're going to join the Fighter's Guild. Because we are a battle mage, and uh, we do have the skills necessary to become a competent member in both guilds. And both guilds are uh, allies with each other. So sign me up, uh, Idis Fireeye. We're now an associate in the Fighter's Guild. There's nothing super special about the Fighter's Guild, but the uh, equipment chest does contain some useful things. Um, we're gonna keep these repair hammers, but uh, let's go ahead and use one of them. And we still can't quite move. Um, I'm gonna drop my sword right here. No one's gonna pick it up. This isn't oblivion. Um, hi there. Would you mind buying these arrows and bolts and this hat? I don't know why the Fighter's Guild chest always has this Clovian fur helm. It just kind of seems silly. You'd think instead of a helm, they'd have like a weapon or a shield or something not light armor, because none of their, their, uh, each guild has a set of skills that are related to them that you need to be at a certain proficiency in to advance in the guild, and light armor is not part of the fighters guild. Anyway, let's, uh, get 110 points from this guy. Actually, he has 2,000 gold. Uh, we could have sold the ebony staff to him. Oh well. Uh, let's see. He has a couple magical weapons. Most notably, the Dweemer Jink Sword, which is a Dweemer uh, short sword. Has a paralyze on property on strike for 10 seconds. It is a very powerful weapon. Um, if you go short blades, this is basically the first weapon you're going to want to pick up. And it will last you throughout the game. Even later on, just to hit an opponent once, switch to a different weapon, and finish them off. As it's, it is just that useful. Um, let's see. Let's go to the pawn shop. Oh, and I didn't pick up my uh, sword. Hello, Stormblade. Good to have you back. To the pawn shop. Um, okay. We don't need to fortify our willpower. We don't really need restore fatigue potions kind of wasteful. We do need restore magic potions. We'll keep those. Um, we don't need these books. They don't teach us anything. And... We don't need cure common disease. Uh, everything else, though, we'll keep. Huh. Uh, apparently, Drelasa picked up a new belt. Summon Scamp for 60 seconds. That's 
that, uh... That's quite handy, actually. Let's, let's buy that. And, uh, wear it. Let's go ahead and use it. And there's our little scamp. What a little rascal. Isn't he? Isn't he, folks? Look how cute he is. That's adorable. <laughs> he makes little noises, too. Um... Yeah, let's see. What else do we need to do? <sighs> we do need to find a place to sell this ring. Um... Because it drains our willpower, fortifies personality. That's not really useful, but it does have a value of 30,000, which is very useful if we could get that much money. Um, it's like stalking us. It's kind of scary. Um, and just like in Oblivion, you can attack your own summon creatures. The guards don't care. Anyway, let's summon a scamp. Let's uh, cast a trap and kill it. And there we go. And we trapped its soul inside Azura's star. It's the scamp inside of it, which uh, apparently don't fit into lesser soul gems. That's interesting. So now we have a scamp, right? So what are we gonna do? We can recharge an enchanted item, we can recharge our scamp slinker belt. Right? And then make another scamp and keep doing that forever and ever and ever, working our enchant skill and our long blade skill, just like that. Um, and our mysticism skill, I suppose, to a lesser extent. Um, what we can also do. Trap the soul. You can also use this to make enchanted items. Um, let's see. Let's have a restore fatigue. But um, and then what's appropriate? <sighs> restore fatigue on our helmet, I suppose. There we go. On um, self. Let's see. Only one point for. Let's see. Two minutes. So it's gonna restore fatigue at a rate of one point every second for uh, two minutes, and we'll be able to cast this whenever we need to. I believe running drains your fatigue at a rate of two every second, or it might be three. I don't remember. In either case, this will help us uh, keep our fatigue up. Uh, we can also make it a range of one to two every second, which, uh, why not? I don't know if this is going to work, but we can keep trying if not. So let's try. The enchantment fails and your gym is destroyed. Fortunately, Azura Star is immune to destruction. But uh, that's too bad. It didn't work. We can try that again. And uh, yeah, this is this is skill grinding. But uh, I really want certain enchantments. And we trapped a soul. So, let's recharge an enchanted item. Let's recharge your belt. Um, didn't get any, any charges, but our enchant skill went up. I suppose I'll go ahead and do more of that off-screen if I so choose to. Anyway, Soul Trap Spell and Azura Star, very useful things to have. Um, Potion of Restore Magicka, 
Restore health potions, also useful to have. And we're now members of the Mage's Guild and the Fighter's Guild. So there's going to be something to do in any town we go to from now on. Um, what can we do now, folks? What do we do now? Well, we can continue to gain money and pay people to train us in certain skills. Um, it's always more efficient to... <sighs> Sorry, I had a yawn there. Yeah, you guys just heard it. Why am I saying it? I don't know. It's uh, more f usually more efficient. Not always. I shouldn't say always. Um, to train a skill when it's uh, underneath, oh, say, 20, up to around 20, and then just start using the skill. Um, except for athletics. Athletics, um, it's always useful to train athletics. Why? Because it's really, really, really fucking long to try to get a skill up. You just, you know, swimming or running into the wall. Um, let's see. I suppose... Now that we have a solid foundation to our character, we are level 4. That, um... We can really, really begin the main quest. Hi there, Cases Cosades. Uh, give us our orders. We need to go to talk to Hasfat uh, Antibols at the Bamoros Fighters Guild and see what he knows about the Neververeen, or Nirvereen, secret cult, and the Sixth House secret cult. Uh, he tells us we'll probably have to do a favor on favor for him first, though. That's useful. Anyway, let's uh, rest... Oh, I don't know... 12... 13 hours. So it's early, early in the morning. Go to the Fighters Guild. I know, I know, folks. It's quite boring just to see me walk around town all the time, all the time. But uh, Hasfat is down in the basement of the Fighters Guild with the uh, with another trainer. There he is. There's the other trainer. Uh, yes, he requires a favor of, of us first. There are Dwemer ruins nearby called Arngthand or something of that, whatever. Um, he wants us to bring him a Dwemer puzzle box. So, this is going to be the end of this video, and in the next video, we will bring him said puzzle box and we will get on with the main quest, finally. Um, yeah. Later, folks.